our own thoughts, our voice, and our decisions. When we're in alignment with who we are, we are able to exude confidence, which is not to be confused with cockiness or arrogance. We're self-assured. We, we don't use passive language like, maybe, I hope I can, but I will, and I can. We understand that we contain all of the power necessary to make things happen, which includes using all of our talents. We're boldly confident. The next step is be spirit-led. In order to be bold, we must spend time listening to our spirit. We must spend time in that reflective space that will allow us to focus on the events of the day and align ourselves with the ability to process the good, the bad, and the ugly. Reflection is paramount to living a bold life. Understanding that everything happens in divine order and expectancy. The third step is be competent. And in order to be bold, we must be competent. Competence is defined as having the necessary ability, knowledge, or skill to do something successfully. It's about execution. In order to take bold steps, you don't have to have all of the answers but you need to know how to get the answers. You may not have the complete picture, but you know and understand enough to take the risk which will lead to something great. Stand boldly on your confidence and execute. Step four is credible. And in order to be bold, we must be credible. Credibility is being capable of persuading people that you can make it happen. Knowledge is not enough. We must also demonstrate credibility, which means trust. The next step is birth ideas with impact. You know, anyone can follow the status quo, but in order to be bold, we must birth ideas with an impact. We've got to take a risk. We've got to be creative and innovative. Think outside of the box. Stand on top of the box. Throw the box away. When we walk in boldness, we can visualize the outcome, even when we don't have all of the details. We think differently, and our undeveloped ideas are vibrant. This leads to the next step of execution. In order to be bold, we must execute. We cannot live in boldness if we're not moving and operating in action. When we're stuck in the past, our past mistakes, failures, and losses, these thoughts keep us moving away from the direction we need to go. We need to move toward action. We're not defined by our past, good, bad, or indifferent. Being action-oriented allows us to thrive in a space of creating multiple bold opportunities. The next step is opportunities. Opportunities are limitless. In order to be bold, we must believe that we have opportunities that are beyond our greatest belief. We're only able to be bold if we believe that we're worthy and capable. It is only through what we believe which will determine initiative of our boldness. It's a mindset. We must be vigilant and not allow others to place limits on us. And we must be hyper vigilant and not place limits on ourselves bold. And the final step is model the way. Once we've learned the way, we live the way, we must model the way. 
When we've transformed our lives through bold living, let's not forget, model the way for someone else who is hanging out in the mediocre lane. So there you have it, eight steps to being bold. Let's create a community of bold, like-minded, action-oriented people. Let us help you become bold. We'd love to through our coaching, our strategic planning, or one of our growth groups. Visit our website, drtanyalow.com, where you can read more about being bold. Or you can call us toll-free at 855-873-4445. Go.